This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba C55 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite C55 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or most other laptop computers, we need to disconnect all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over and there's two levers on top of the battery. We slide both of them outward and lift up the battery and remove the battery. Once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the part, model number for this laptop. It says Toshiba C55D. It's gonna, it, this will also work for the C55 but not for the C55T, the touchscreen version of this laptop. So this procedure will not work for the touchscreen version of this laptop. Okay, in order to get to the screen assembly, we have to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom, which are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. Before we do that, we'll show you the tools that we're going to need for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 0 is the size of the screwdriver. We have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade and that's to remove the screw covers and also to remove lift up adhesive tape on the back of the screen. And we also have a pair of metal tweezers just to remove any screws that may be stuck or to manipulate any cables. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is remove the plastic screw covers. We use our exacto knife for that. You lift them up. And what I like to do is put them on the side beside the screw opening so I don't lose them. There's one and two. Once we do that, we use our PH0 electronic screwdriver to remove the two screws. One and two. And for each step, for each set of screws, what we'll to do is keep them in a pile in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I assemble the laptop again. The next step is we need to snap the screen bezel off. The, sc the screen bezel is the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to do that, what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently pull up and out and listen for snapping sounds. And in this manner, work my way around the screen. Find a good place to put your fingertips or fingernails in and keep going. If, if one spot doesn't come off, if it's more difficult, just go past that spot and find places that are easier and come back to that spot later, later on. So in this manner, we work our way around the screen. Do the same thing on the bottom. Like so, and just one more corner left, which we remove. And once we do that, we tilt the bezel forward and remove it like so. Once we remove the screen bezel, we take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it ha it's mounted to a metal mounting brackets on the side of the screen. So we need to get to the screw openings on the side of the screen. So in order to do that, we remove the two screws at the top, one and two. One. And two. Once we do that, we can tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly and we see that we can get to the top two screws on the side, but not the bottom. In order to get to the bottom screw, we need a trick. And what we do is, there's a screw 
of the metal mounting bracket, we don't remove it, but we loosen it up maybe two or three turns and do the exact same thing on the other side. And then tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly. Once we do that, we can reach all three screws and we can start removing them. In this case, it's getting stuck a little bit. So we use our metal tweezers to grab it and to remove it. And once again, we start a new pile with this, with this screw. So there's two and this one's a little bit tougher but we can open it up and three and we do the same thing on the other side one and two and three okay then we tilt once we do that we gently tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly and we put the screen down like so for this type of screen there is only one connector on the back and we need to disconnect this connector so what we do is there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable. We lift up the adhesive and also there's some adhesive tape on top of the connector. And we use our X-Acto knife to lift up this adhesive tape. Being careful not to damage the connector. Once we do that, we can we can pull the connector out and just gently pull it out. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector. So you slide it in. When you slide it in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. That means the connector is properly engaged. So let's get a close up. Pause the video right here. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. This is a properly connected connector. All right, we pull the connector out again and take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen and as of mid 2013, it's the most common screen that goes into laptops. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LTN156 AT 32. That's all you need to know. LTN 156 AT 32. When you do get your new screen in, most likely it will not have the exact same part number, but the screen will look exactly the same and the connector will be in exactly the same place. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen, and what you get with us is this toolkit comes for free with the screen. All you need to have to replace the screen. We have a two-year warranty on our screens, and we have free email technical support. If you have any problems during installation, send us an email, and we'll help you walk through. We also have a fast delivery. We ship priority mail, and, you, and when you order it, your screen will arrive in two or three days in the United States. If you live outside of the United States, um, we can ship to most countries, so just go through the regular checkout procedure and choose your country and we'll deliver it. Okay, uh, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out to help you find your laptop model, and then this will guide you to find the right screen online where you can buy the screen in our shopping cart. Once you do get the screen in, Connect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen in the metal mounting brackets. Put the th three screws in on each side. Tighten the two screws at the bottom. Put in the two screws at the top. Snap on the screen bezel. Put in the two screws at the bottom and the plastic screw covers and you'll be done. 
Okay, and that's it. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panarutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.